Welcome back, Faith Warriors of God. Faith Warrior Roger just checking in with you. I just wanted to jump on here and to tell you something. And that thing is, you belong to God. You belong to God. God loves you. He adores you. He cares about you. He gave his life for you. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for your sins, to establish you in his family. You are a very special person. You are special. Don't let your situations write your story because you belong to God. God is your father. He is your king. Yes, he is. He is your strength. He is your refuge. He is your joy. He is your peace. Hallelujah. You belong to God. Ah, you may be going through your struggles. You may feel like throwing in the towel. You may feel like that you have been forsaken. But let me tell you something. You belong to God. Hold your head up high in the belief of Jesus. Hold your head up high knowing that God is by your side. He is walking right beside you. He cares for you and he adores you. Oh, you belong to God, faith warrior. You belong to God. Follow Jesus with every ounce of you, with every part of you. Follow Jesus. Please, you belong to God. You belong to God. You belong to God. Say it out loud if you have to. Say it out loud. Let every ounce of you, every fiber that is in your body, every cell, say it out loud. I belong to God. Say it with me. I belong to God. Say it. I belong to God. I belong to God. I belong to God. And believe that you belong to God. Because you know what? You do. The day that you said, Father, Lord God, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he was sacrificed for my sins. And I confess him right now. And I believe in my heart. The day that you truly repented unto God, you belong to God. That day. Okay. So maybe you have financial woes. Maybe you are going through some struggles right now in your life. Relationships are not going strong. Right. But you belong to God. You belong to God. Cherish that. Cherish that and know for a fact that you belong to the creator of the universe. You belong to him. That's something to be grateful for. That is something to have joy in your heart. Okay. Now, if you look at this video and you don't know God and you don't have a relationship with God, you still living in your sins. Simply repent. And be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Believe in him. Believe that he died for your sins to set you free from your sins. To make you in right standings with God. So if you don't know God right now, now is the time to know God. Because let me tell you something. The favor of God is amazing. God will have favor on your life. He would get you out of tough situations that you couldn't otherwise get out yourself. You want to belong to God. And it's time for you to belong to God. If you don't belong to God. Say it. I belong to God. Let's just say it. I belong to God, man. I just belong to God. I woke up this morning. and was like, I belong to you, God. I belong to you. I'm a part of God. You're a part of God. Oh, get encouraged today. If you having a down day, if you have one of those days, because we go through those days sometimes and we just feel down. 
I'm not one of those teachers that's going to be like every every day is crystal clear. Every day is peachy and strawberry. Every day is cherries. No, some days it's bitter, right? But you know what? We must realize that we belong to God, man. If you woke up this morning in your right frame of mind, that is something to be grateful for. You have another day to praise God. Whether you are going through trials and tribulations or whether it's a good day, you have another day to praise God. Praising the one who loves us and who gave himself for us, who forgave us of our sins, who forgave us of our iniquities, who forgave us of everything. Oh, we belong to God, faith warriors. We belong to God. We have a place in heaven that is prepared for us. It is waiting for us to just walk into it. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is ready. We just waiting for Christ to come back and to gather all those that truly believe in him and follow him. Hallelujah. You know why? Because we belong to God. He said, if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto what? Himself. He's going to receive us unto himself. Hallelujah. We belong to God. The Bible says that we are joint heirs with Christ. We go and inherit the kingdom. We have a place to look forward to, faith warriors. We have a place to look forward to. So whatever you may be going through in your life right now, let me tell you something. The, the suffering that you are going through right now is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in you. Why? Because you belong to God. Let's say it. I belong to God. I belong to God. I belong to God. I'm talking to you right now who's feeling sad, who's feeling down. I'm talking to you. You belong to God. Get excited and say you belong to God. Hallelujah. You belong to God. Trust and believe in that. Trust and believe in that. Say it loud. Screaming on the mountaintops and say, I belong to God. Say it. I'm sitting in this car right now and I don't care who around me. Saying it loud. I belong to God. Your situation that you're going through, tell it. I belong to God. Your financial struggles, tell it. I belong to God. Your sickness that you may be afflicted with right now. Tell it. I belong to God. Satan probably trying to get you to go back to your addictions that you used to formerly have. Tell your addictions. I belong to God. Tell them that you belong to God. You have God on your side. Greater is he that is in you. than he that is in the world. You belong to God, faith warriors. You belong to God. Don't let Satan steal your joy. Don't let Satan steal your life. Don't let Satan rule your life. Stay faithful to God. He's going to stay faithful to you. You belong to God. Hallelujah. Faith warriors. I know it's tough out there. I know it is. It's tough. It's challenging. Sometime life is going to throw you the most ugliest lemons ever. But we got to have faith in God that he's going to make those lemons turn into the best lemonade ever. There may be ugly lemons thrown at you. But God can make the best lemonade ever out of those. He can turn your situation around. You know why? Because you belong to God. Because you belong to him. And he cares for you. The birds of the air don't, don't worry about getting fed. God feeds them. God is a God of providence. And we are his children. So if you are his child, know that he's going to take care of you. You're going to have to be patient. It may don't happen immediately, but you're just going to have to just trust in God and believe in God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind. Remember, 
Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that are not seen. We have to see our victory by believing in God before our victory even comes. By being a part of God's family, we have the faith of God within us. We have the faith of God within us. Let's trust and believe in God because we belong to God. We are a part of him. We are a part of his family. That means something. So whatever situation that you're going through, I want you to say, I belong to God. Because you do. Until next time, faith warriors. Until next time. Oh, I love y'all so much. Y'all are so awesome. I love each and every soul. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. And God is ready to meet you at any problem that you may have. God is amazing and you are amazing. And together we are amazing. Amazing plus amazing equals super amazing. <laughs> awesome plus awesome equals super awesome. Hallelujah. I am a child of God. I belong to God and I shall live with God forevermore. Once again, say it. I am a child of God. I belong to God and I will live with God forever and ever. Until next time, faith warriors. Until next time. Let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.